Uh, my question concerns the exact uh, guarantees um, you have in mind to um, preserve privacy. Uh, you have you have you have been quite quick on this, and especially uh, regarding the fact that um, I mean, as it is now, the project would rely on intermediaries, so there will be privacy issues at the level of the central bank, but also at the level of intermediaries. And uh, I mean, I. I don't know who these intermediaries will be, but currently um, commercial banks, for instance, they have some requirements uh, regarding tax issues, for instance. Um, how do you how do you th how do you um, think about guarantees um, so that like the, the digital euro will be maybe more private than traditional uh, commercial accounts? Uh, I would say. So so let me. Uh, distinguish uh, two things. So you're very right. So there is a there is on uh, the question on how uh, what data is shared at the intermediary level and what data is shared uh, uh, within the central bank. Um, so to let let me start with the last one. Um, so we currently really uh, investigating uh, how we if we could foresee a technical setup where we can do the settlement and all the tasks that we need to do in order to make sure that the digital euro is both issued, but also that we can pay in digital euros and that, that, that those transactions are settled in a way uh, that the central bank, that our system wouldn't need any personal data. So that we design it in a way that this data is not even entering our system. So that even if somebody would want to see it, it, it couldn't because we don't have the data. So that is something that we are doing on the, on the central bank side. In the design, we're investigating uh, uh, how we could do this. Uh, as I said before, we need to find a ba balance between AML, CFT, and fighting fraud on the one hand, and the, uh, on, on the other hand, uh, uh, the right of privacy. So for now, it's foreseen, uh, at least by us, uh, that the intermediaries would have access to the data because of the rules, uh, because they need to comply to AML, CFP, also for the digital euro. Um, since digital euro legislation still need to be drafted, we are discussing with the legislator if we, they could foresee, for example, uh, some room to have uh, lower transaction monitoring, for example, on low value transactions. But uh, it's still a discussion, and in the end, it's also the legislator that will decide upon this level of, uh, of privacy. Uh, so, this is very much also a debate uh, uh, around the draft legislation that is currently ongoing. 